Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today I have my dad's wind generation machine. Now, he says it doesn't work. I'm not even sure why he needs a wind generation machine. In my opinion, he breaks enough wind as it is. But let's see if we can fix this for him. So we got our extension cord. I'll just show you got we got power on the extension cord and uh, my outlet's good too, so that's good to know. So let's uh, plug in the wind generation machine. Why don't you want to plug in there? There we go. Plugged in now. And it works. I guess just banging it around made it work. Hmm. I wonder if something if it's something with this cord. Let's see if we could. Okay, let's uh, let's take it apart anyway, and let's just see if something was loose or see if we can see anything in there. First, we got to unplug it. And we got to get this nozzle off. Try not to damage everything. Come on. Got the nozzle off, and there's some screws on the back here. Okay, it's pretty simple in there. Just a motor and a switch. Let's see if we can see anything uh, obvious. The switch is connected. This whole thing looks like it's seen better days. Got a crimp here. It looks fine. No breaks in the wires, as far as I can see. Let's take this motor out all the way. It's nice, it appears all the screws are the same size. Well, that's why, why? Give me that back. It's weird. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So there's your motor. I don't see a break in any of the wires or why this wasn't working. That was strange. It's, it's kind of filthy. And that's really crimped down there. This cord's kind of frayed up, but like I said, there's no break in the wires or anything that I could see. And it's just kind of dirty. I don't 
let's put it back together. I'm not seeing anything wrong. Switches seem tight. The connections to the switches seem tight. Yeah. All right. Well, this was the disassembly of a wind machine. Let's reassemble it back together. We'll get some old electrical tape for this here because I don't like that. It looks like that was done from the factory, though. It looks like it was cut on purpose, but I don't understand why. So, we'll get some electrical tape. Okay, I don't have electrical tape, but I have this here Tessa tape. I like this stuff better anyway. It tends to not melt like electrical tape does. Whoa. All right, let's put it back together. Put a couple screws in just to hold it together so the motor doesn't go flying everywhere and then we'll give it another try. Alright, that's together enough I think so that the uh, motor won't go flying everywhere. Alright, let's uh, plug her in. Okay, we're in. Yeah, I'm gonna slap it back together, give it back to my pops, and uh, if it stops working again, I'm sure we'll see it again. But uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, fixed. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.